Hello ladies and gents and welcome to episode 4 of the Rainbow Six Siege Masterclass. In today's episode we'll be looking at the best strategies for attack and defence. After all both sides play differently from each other and have unique operators suited for each playstyle. Let's begin by looking at attack. When you start the round as an attacker you'll have a short period of time to scout the location you're about to enter with drones. These drones are small and can fit through small gaps and underneath things. You need to move quick though because whilst you're doing this the enemy will be setting up defences and jammers to block you. In this stage of the game as an attacker your goal should be to locate the objective as fast as possible. This could be a hostage, a control point or even bombs. This is crucial because if you know the location of the objective before you enter you'll have a better idea of where the defenders are likely to be. Your drones can be destroyed however by jammers and bullets so watch out. A couple of tips I can offer in this stage of the game for locating the objectives are as follows. Number one, look out for where your teammates drones are heading and go in a different direction. If you split the drones up you'll cover more ground and are more likely to locate the objective. Number two, use sound to locate the defenders. They'll be putting up barricades that make loud noises. Move towards the sound as they're likely to be setting up to defend an objective there. You can also use jammers in a similar fashion. If you get too close to a jammer your screen will flicker. Although you might not be able to get past it you'll at least have a rough idea of which part of the level the defenders are holding. And number three, if your drone isn't destroyed hide it in a safe place. You can access it later in the round which is very useful. Drones can also gather intel and scan for enemies spotting them for all of your team to see. Hold X on PC to do this, Y on Xbox One and Triangle on PS4. This is pivotal to the success of your attack and provides several tactical advantages. You'll know the location of the defenders for a few seconds and also if you spot them through a wall next to you you can always try to shoot them through it without exposing yourself to danger. Remember too even if your drone is destroyed in the planning phase you'll be able to throw out another one mid round. Use this frequently and often. If you're unsure what's in a room get in there with a the drone and check it out. And don't forget that when you die you can still see the camera feed of your teammates drones if there's any left and scan for enemies to help out. Every little helps. Now when you're done with the drone in the planning phase and have control of your operator you should watch out for a few things. Taking out cameras is really important. The defenders can control these and spot you. Very bad. If you see a camera get into the habit of shooting it to take it out and deny the enemy intel. Watch out for the barbed wire too. This stuff is really going to slow you down if you walk in it. To get rid of it quickly and silently melee it a few times and it will be destroyed. If it's electrified barbed wire though shoot the box in the middle to disable it. If you're playing as IQ don't forget about the scanner that she has. You can use this to locate enemy bombs and devices through walls. Very useful indeed and it will give you an advantage. Take out those nitro cells by shooting them if you see them. Ultimately a successful attack requires a combination of good consistent intel, excellent communication, intelligent use of gadgets, teamwork, composition and skill. Use every tool at your disposal and you'll stand a good chance of mounting an outstanding siege. Let's move on now, flip things around and look at the defending team. What can we do here to maximise our chances of winning? As for the basics, each player by default has two reinforced walls to place. These can only be breached by the operator Thermite, so if the enemy doesn't have him they're already at a big disadvantage. Make sure as soon as the round starts you're communicating with your team and sealing off as many entry points into the objective room with reinforced walls as possible. You can also place wooden barricades up too on windows and doorways. These will be created very quickly and can also be removed if need be. They're going to block lines of sight but remember that bullets can pass through them easily and only require three melee hits to be completely destroyed. You can use the destruction of barricades to your advantage. Knock a hole in one to create a new and unexpected line of sight for example. Don't be afraid to add them or remove them mid round either. Any barricade is going to halt the attackers for a few seconds and if they remove it you'll know exactly where they are. Barbed wire works great too. You'll want to put this down on stairs and entry points. Near windows where you think enemies will breach is also a good spot. As soon as they breach they'll be stuck in the barbed wire moving slowly and they're going to be a really easy target for you to hit. Barbed wire can be used quite tactically too. You can hear when people walk through it and also of course hear them meleeing it to destroy it. Place it down somewhere you think the enemy will walk over it and hide. Listening carefully will give their position away allowing you to know exactly where they are. 
Another key element of the defensive stage is actively seeking and destroying the attacker's drones. If you see one of them roaming around, make sure to take it out, it only requires one bullet. If you take their drones out fast, they won't be able to locate the intel in the preparation phase. This is going to give you an instantaneous advantage when the round starts. Keep an eye out for them when setting up your defences and make sure not to shoot your teammates whilst targeting the drones, friendly fire is bad. As a defender you have access to several cameras scattered around the level 2. Press 5 on PC and down on the D-pad on console to access them. You can flick through various camera feeds and look for the enemy. Scan with the camera and if there are enemies on screen they'll be spotted and marked for you and your team to see. This is a super effective way of gathering intel mid round and locating enemies. Remember though if you spot an enemy they're going to be made aware of that and will likely shoot the camera out if they haven't already therefore denying your team access to that camera for the rest of the round. Aside from what I've just told you there are several operator specific gadgets that are extremely useful for defenders. If you're playing as Jaeger make sure to use all three of his active defence systems and place them in key areas that you want to defend. These little devices will zap any grenades thrown near them preventing the enemy from using flashbangs, frags and EMP grenades. When using mute place his jammer down near walls and doorways you think the enemy will breach. This jammer will prevent any enemy remote devices from being used, even breaching charges. It's going to destroy drones that get too close as well. Placing this near a fully reinforced wall is a surefire way of completely blocking off an entrance. As Capcan, place your laser trip mines in sneaky locations. And as Tachanka, if you set your light machine gun up, make sure that it can cover multiple entry points. Operator Rook has deployable armour he can place down on the floor and share with his team. Do this as soon as the round starts and inform your teammates to pick it up. When that's out of the way you can begin setting up your defences knowing that you've got more armour to protect you. And don't forget about the deployable shield either, it's completely bulletproof and will offer you a lot of protection. Remember though, the attackers can use it too, so think hard about where you place it down because it could come back to haunt you. And as we mentioned in the previous episode, create new lines of sight by knocking holes in walls with melee and bullets. This will really surprise the attackers and catch them off guard. In the end, a good defence boils down to a few key things. Great communication and planning at the start of the round and making snap judgments on where to set up your defences. You've got to destroy the drones as they attempt to gather intel and also use the cameras mid round and inform your team. Finally, something that's really important is effectively reacting and adjusting to your enemy when you know where they're breaching and mounting their assault. And that's all for today's episode guys, I hope you learned something new here. Tune in next time when we'll be looking at some advanced tactics and strategies to really step up your game. As always, thank you so much for watching, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.